Hey everyone, welcome back for another deep dive. You know, it's funny, we're so used to seeing those kind of blurry ultrasound images, almost like they're underwater or something. Yeah, yeah. But get this, AI is being used to clear those images up in a way we never could before, and it's changing how we diagnose diseases. It's true. It's like AI is lending a helping hand to sonographers and radiologists. Um, so instead of just looking at a static picture, you know, just one image, AI can actually analyze a series of ultrasound pictures, mm -hmm. like flipping through a photo album, and it can start to pick up on these really subtle changes that could be important for diagnosis. Today we are looking at AI in ultrasound, and we've got two really awesome research papers to deep dive into. One from uh, the European Journal of Radiology, it's called uh, Artificial Intelligence in Ultrasound. And then another one from the journal Biomedicines, and that one's called Ultrasound Imaging, Artificial Intelligence. Okay, right. So our mission today is to figure out how is this technology being used right now? Right. And what could it mean for like the future of healthcare? And one of the things that has me really jazzed about this is how AI is already being used to tackle a wide range of tasks in ultrasound. Okay. From detecting cancer to measuring organ size, it's really changing the game. So wait, are you saying that AI could help like catch something early on that might have been missed otherwise? Potentially. Yeah. That's incredible. Really promising. How like how accurate is this technology compared to like a human who's, you know, been doing it for years? Yeah. Well, the research shows that, you know, in some areas it's as good as, and in some cases even better than, experienced radiologists in diagnosing certain conditions. Wow. So you can imagine you're a doctor, you're looking for a specific type of cell abnormality in a sea of healthy cells. Right. It's like trying to find a needle in a haystack, but AI can be trained to pick out those subtle, those really subtle visual cues that even a really, really trained human eye might miss. That's wild. That's amazing. So how does the AI actually, like, how does it see these patterns in the ultrasound images. That's where these really, really powerful algorithms come in. Oh, sure. Things like machine learning, deep learning, and convolutional neural networks, which sounds very complicated. Yeah, it does. But essentially, they allow AI to break down those images into smaller, smaller parts and look for specific patterns, mm -hmm. almost like a security guard, like scanning a crowd for a specific face. You know, they're looking yeah. for very specific things. That's really cool. So it's like giving these doctors this, like, superpower to see things they couldn't see before. In a way, yeah. That's awesome. So what are some of the specific ways that AI is being used in ultrasound? Like today, what's like what's something that would blow people's minds? Well, one really important application is dealing with those acoustic shadows. Oh, right. Wait, we were talking about earlier. Those are the ones that are like what? Like trying to see through a brick wall or something? Exactly. Exactly. Like oh. trying to see through a brick wall. They can make it really hard to see what's going on. But AI can actually be trained to identify those acoustic shadows and even, in a way, compensate for them to give doctors a clearer picture of what's going on. So it's like it's helping clear the visual obstacles that the doctors have the best possible view for diagnosis. Exactly. That's a great way to put it. Wow, that's amazing. And that's really just the beginning. Research oh. is being done on using AI to guide biopsies, to monitor fetal development, wow. and even predict the severity of liver disease. Hold on. AI can actually help with, like, procedures, like, in real time? Yeah. That seems like something out of a movie. It really does, and it's happening right now. Wow. Imagine AI acting like a GPS for your ultrasound probe, helping doctors target the exact location they need to reach during a biopsy. Wow. This could lead to faster, more accurate procedures with fewer complications. That's that's incredible. It really is. Yeah. So it seems like AI has the potential to touch so many different aspects of ultrasound and patient care. It really makes you think about the potential here. But are there any like challenges in using AI for ultrasound? Like, is it a perfect solution or are there things we still need to figure out? Yeah, that's a really good point. And while, you know, I am very optimistic and I do think it's incredibly promising, it's important to remember that it's still a relatively new field, you know, and well, there are always going to be challenges with any new technology. Of course. One of the biggest challenges is ensuring that these AI algorithms are accurate and reliable in real world clinical settings. Yeah. So we need to make sure that like the AI is ready for prime time, so to speak. Exactly. So what yeah. is being done to like ensure these AI algorithms are like up to the task? That's where rigorous testing and validation come in. Okay. Researchers are working really hard 
to test these AI algorithms on massive, I mean, massive data sets of ultrasound images. Wow. And they're comparing their performance to that of really experienced clinicians. Oh, right. Okay. So it's really like putting these algorithms through their paces. Right, like a test. Exactly. Yeah. Making sure they can handle the complexities of these real world medical images. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Are there other hurdles we need to overcome? Yeah, definitely. You know, one thing we have to think about is that ultrasound technology itself isn't, you know, evenly distributed around the world. And if we're not careful, we could see AI kind of making those existing disparities in healthcare even worse, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a really important point. I mean, we don't want AI to create like a two-tiered system where only certain people get to benefit exactly. from these advances in technology. That's exactly right. And that's why, you know, it's so crucial to consider things like, well, cost and accessibility from the very beginning. Right, from the start. Yeah, we need to make sure that these AI-powered tools, they're available to everyone, not just, you know, people who live near big hospitals or can afford it. Absolutely. So it's about integrating AI in a way that helps the entire system, not just, like, you know, lifts up certain parts. I think that's a great point. So what about the people, the sonographers and radiologists, you know, the ones who are looking at these pictures every single day? Right. How do their rules change with AI coming in? That's a question a lot of people are asking, you know, or are the machines going to take over? Is that is that what we're looking at? Sure, that, that old saying, like, you know, the robots are coming for our jobs. But in all seriousness, yeah, yeah. how do you see, you know, the role of these experts changing, like working with AI? You know, I think it's less about replacement and more about like, an evolution. Okay. You know, AI can handle a lot of these sort of repetitive, like time consuming tasks. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. looking at, you know, thousands of images just to look for a specific pattern. It's like they can do the heavy lifting in a way. Exactly. And that frees up sonographers and radiologists to really focus on the things that matter most. Which are? Which are, you know, patient interaction. And course. Explaining a complex diagnosis to a patient, you know, with empathy and compassion. Yeah. Using their expertise to make judgments, you know, nuanced judgments mm. that AI just at this point can't do. Right, because there's that human element that's still so important. Exactly. exactly. So it's kind of like this idea of AI becoming a really powerful tool that these doctors can use. Yeah. But it's not replacing them. It's more like it's enhancing their abilities. Absolutely. It's like having a like a really, really good assistant, you know, like a, an assistant who can do a lot of the work for you. Yeah, that's a great way to put it. Yeah. So you can focus on on the things that that really matter. And it lets the doctors be doctors and spend more time with their patients. Exactly. Exactly. So and we also have to talk about the research side of this, too. You know, oh, absolutely. AI isn't just changing how we use ultrasound now. It's totally opening up all these new ways to do research and make discoveries. Oh, I completely agree. And for example, we're using AI to develop totally new ultrasound techniques, yeah. you know, that can actually see things we've never been able to see before. Really? We're talking about imaging at a cellular level, like actually seeing the cells, wow. identifying, you know, these subtle biomarkers for disease, and even, get this, monitoring treatment response in real time. Now, that is mind blowing. It's like having, like you said earlier, it's like having a whole new window into the human body. It really is. So, what, what, what really stood out to you from the, the research, from these papers? Like, what got you excited? You know, what advancements really kind of blew your mind? So one of the areas I'm most excited about is um, using AI in prenatal pair, actually. You know, yeah. the Biomedicines article, it highlighted some really groundbreaking work that's being done using AI to analyze fetal ultrasound images. So we're talking about, like, potentially detecting, um, you know, abnormalities or developmental issues much earlier than we could before. Absolutely. Imagine being able to, you know, identify a, a potential problem during a routine ultrasound. Right. Allowing, you know, for earlier interventions and potentially better outcomes for both the mom and the baby. That's, I mean, that's huge for so many families out there. That's, that's amazing to think about. It's really incredible. It really is. But with all this potential, are there areas where you feel like we need to like be extra cautious as we move forward with AI? Yeah, that's you hit the nail on the head. That's a really, really important question. And it's something that researchers and you know ethicists are really thinking about right now. We yeah. need to make sure that as AI becomes, you know, more and more integrated into ultrasound, that it's used responsibly and ethically. So it's not just about the technology itself. It's also about like how we choose to use it. Yeah, I think that's very well said. So what are some of those ethical 
thing, you know, considerations that are on your mind? Well, I think a big one is data privacy. Of course, yeah. These AI algorithms, they need a ton of data to learn. Right. And that data is patient information. Yeah. So we need to make sure that data is handled really carefully. Right, because especially in healthcare, like you've got to keep that trust with the patients. You know, you mm -hmm. can't be you know, letting their information out there. Absolutely. So how, like, what What are some ways that that's being addressed? Well, I think transparency is huge. Mm -hmm. You know, patients should understand how AI is being used in their care. They should know if their ultrasound images are being looked at by an algorithm and how that might change their diagnosis or treatment plan. It sounds like we're entering a new era of ultrasound, one where AI is not just a tool, but a partner in providing the best possible care. I think that's a great way to put it. AI has the potential to revolutionize how we use ultrasound, making it more accessible, more accurate, and more patient-centered. It's exciting to think about all the possibilities. And as AI technology continues to advance, who knows what incredible breakthroughs await us. Maybe we'll be able to see things we can't even imagine right now. I completely agree. This is just the beginning of the journey for AI and ultrasound. We're only just starting to explore its full potential. It's been an incredible deep dive into the world of AI and ultrasound. We've covered so much ground from the technical details of how AI analyzes images to the ethical considerations of integrating this technology into healthcare. It's been a pleasure sharing my insights with you. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear your final thoughts. What's the one big takeaway you hope our listeners will remember from this deep dive? If I had to leave our listeners with one thought, it would be this. AI in ultrasound is not about replacing human expertise. It's about empowering it. It's about giving doctors and sonographers the tools they need to provide even better care for their patients. That's a powerful message. It's not about man versus machine. It's about man and machine working together to improve lives. Exactly. And that's a future I'm excited to be a part of. Well, there you have it, deep divers. AI is changing the face of ultrasound, and it's clear that this is just the beginning of an incredible journey. Thank you for having me. It was our pleasure. And to our listeners, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep diving deep into the world of knowledge. We'll see you on our next adventure.